What if I told you that some of the world's most ambitious megaprojects, bridges, skyscrapers, entire cities, could suddenly come to a screeching halt? Or that one political decision in a single country could send shockwaves through the entire global construction industry, adding billions in unexpected costs? With Trump's proposed tariffs on steel, aluminum, and other essential materials, how will global megabuilds survive? Will budgets spiral out of control? Will projects be abandoned? Will entire industries be forced to rethink the way they build? Can we still build the future? Stick around, let's unpack this tariff talk together. All right, let's break this down. Back in 2018, Trump slapped a 25% tariff on steel and 10% on aluminum, claiming it would protect US industries. Fast forward to 2025, and he's doubling down, raising aluminum tariffs to 25%, reinstating 25% steel duties with zero exemptions, and throwing in extra taxes on imports from Canada, Mexico, and China. What does this mean? Simple. Everything just got a lot more expensive to build. In 2018, tariffs sent steel prices soaring by 14% in a single year. U.S. steel imports plummeted 19%, forcing developers to buy pricier domestic steel. Industry experts warn that the new 2025 tariffs will push construction costs even higher, leading to delays, cancellations, and abandoned projects. And it's not just about price tags. Supply chains are a mess. Material shortages are stretching timelines, labor costs are rising, and some of the world's most ambitious projects are now hanging in the balance. Let's put this into perspective. Steel and aluminum are the bones and muscles of modern construction. If their prices jump, so does the price of everything that depends on them. Think about this. A 1% increase in steel costs might not sound like much, but on a billion-dollar project, that's an extra $10 million money that has to come from somewhere. In 2018, U.S. construction projects saw $7.5 billion in unexpected cost hikes, just from the last round of tariffs. The Gordie Howe International Bridge, a $2.1 billion megaproject, could see a $100 million cost increase overnight. And here's the kicker, it's not just the raw materials. Everything from HVAC systems to high-strength steel, from electrical transformers to aluminum facades is imported. Now, all of it is getting way more expensive. Contractors and developers are scrambling to adapt, but there's only so much they can do. These tariffs aren't just numbers on a spreadsheet. They're threatening real projects that shape our world. Let's talk about some mega builds now at risk. Like Egypt's new administrative capital, Egypt is betting big on a brand new city, one designed to house 6.5 million people and serve as the country's political and business hub. But this $58 billion project relies heavily on imported steel, glass, and infrastructure materials. A sudden price spike could force massive cutbacks or even stall progress altogether. Back in the US, California's high-speed rail project is already drowning in cost overruns. This ambitious rail system depends on massive amounts of steel for tracks, stations, and bridges. With the project already ballooning past $100 billion, these tariffs could push it even further into financial uncertainty. If construction slows or funding dries up, the future of high-speed rail in America could be in serious jeopardy. The Gordie Howe International Bridge This crucial U.S.-Canada connection is one of the largest infrastructure projects in North America, but it's now looking at hundreds of millions in extra costs. More expensive steel means tighter budgets, potential delays, and higher tolls for travelers once it's finally completed. Another example is the Jeddah Tower. The world's first one-kilometer tall skyscraper is already a massive engineering challenge. But if steel prices keep climbing, developers have two choices, either cut corners or put the whole thing on hold. Neither option is great when you're building a record-breaking megastructure. And lastly, we can't forget about Saudi Arabia's Inyoam City the futuristic megacity that everyone's talking about. Complete with a floating port, an artificial moon, and a 100-mile linear city, this relies on huge amounts of steel and imported technology. But with tariffs driving up prices, Saudi Arabia is now negotiating long-term steel supply deals with China, reducing reliance on Western imports. This could shift global trade patterns for decades. But the construction industry isn't just sitting around waiting for costs to skyrocket. 
Here are five ways developers are fighting back. Number one, switching suppliers. Countries like Brazil, Turkey, and South Korea are stepping in to provide steel and aluminum at lower prices. But switching suppliers isn't always easy. It takes time and can introduce new quality control challenges. Number two, stockpiling materials. Some companies are buying up steel in advance, hoping to dodge future price hikes. But that requires cash on hand, and not every developer can afford it. Number three, alternative building materials. Skyscrapers that would have relied on steel cores are now being redesigned with reinforced concrete or engineered timber. But these materials come with their own challenges and limitations. Number four, redrawing contracts. Construction firms are adding tariff clauses to contracts, ensuring cost increases are passed on to clients instead of swallowing them themselves. And lastly, number five, inevitably delaying projects. Investors are taking a wait-and-see approach, slowing down projects until they know how long these tariffs will last. This could lead to a construction slowdown, fewer jobs, and stalled economic growth. So how is the rest of the world reacting to this? The US isn't the only player in this game. Other countries are making moves. For India and China, steel that was supposed to go to the US is now flooding Asian markets, dropping prices there while making US steel more expensive. In Europe and Canada, retaliatory tariffs are making U.S. construction materials more costly abroad, cutting American suppliers out of international projects. And in the Middle East and Africa, countries investing in massive infrastructure projects, like Egypt's new capital and NEOM city, are now locking in deals with Chinese steel suppliers, shifting trade power away from Western nations. So, can we still build the future? Trump's tariffs have changed the game. Costs are rising, supply chains are shifting, and mega projects around the world are scrambling to adjust. But the burning question is are these tariffs truly protecting American industries? Or are they making construction so expensive that we're stalling our own progress? What do you think? Will tariffs help or hurt the future of mega builds? Drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious engineering projects.